Hello and welcome to the India Hangout. Mumbai city has about 1.9 million vehicles on record. That's they say about 2 million vehicles. The adjoining district of Thane has about 2.5 million. So more than 2 million vehicles are play, uh, flying in the city of Mumbai and everyone seems to be wanting to go in the same direction. And that's what we're talking about today. Can social media or how can social media help alleviate your and my traffic woes? And to that extent, can social media really work for us? I've got a very interesting panel here with me, Ravi Kemani. He's co-founder of Trafline in Mumbai, which is basically an app and uh, a site which uh, tracks what's happening in uh, on, on, the, on real time. Uh, in uh, on on the streets and also uh, acts as a aggregator on social media for people who are sending in their comments on what they are seeing or observing uh, wherever they are in the city and uh, not just in mumbai but other cities also joining me rakshit uh, seth who uh, seth who runs smart mumbai card another similar initiative which is catching on fast and that also tries to help all of you really reach home uh, safely and uh, hopefully soundly also joining us will be dr bk upadhyay joint commissioner traffic police and we'll ask him how uh, social media can help make his life better as it helps us as well. Ayaz, good job. Huh? Good God, don't remind me of the longest time. But even today, I yeah. spent about an hour, a little more than an hour. Getting coming to Central from, Mumbai. Uh, getting, to, getting to Central Mumbai from Bandra. There was some kind of a you know, wall collapse or something near Wali Naka and there was traffic chaos. Mm. Uh, I finally made it here. But you've given me two lifelines. I must get more about, mm. get to know more about these two guys who, who are helping out people or at least mapping right. this. Because I think it's become so crucial yeah. uh, in urban clusters where especially now with India becoming so kind of car centric. Yeah. You know, I think that uh, we all need these right. tools. Right. And, and there are huge uh, amount of comments coming in from uh, all of you, including suggestions. And I'm going to uh, take them uh, very shortly. But let me begin with you, uh, uh, Ravi. Uh, tell us about Trafline very quickly. I mean, what made you set it up and how are you doing today in terms of uh, the traffic or the kind of mentions that you're getting on social media and so on? Uh, so Trafline is basically, in short, it's a live traffic information provider. Uh, thanks for bringing me on the show, first of all. Uh, so, Trafline, the name by itself, uh, we, we thought about it basically was when Twitter was there giving all its timeline, uh, the Facebook was also coming out with timeline, so we thought about traffic timeline and that's how we conceived this name Traf, Trafline. Uh, and basically, as I told you, it's an aggregator of traffic information from the field, it's 24 hours running, every one minute the data is updated. As of now, I can tell you the Eastern Expressway is, is flooded and it's it's running very slow right from Cyan till Baikala. So we are advising people to take Eastern Freeway rather uh, if they're coming from the central suburb going south. Uh, so, you know, and the water logging conditions, uh, the, you know, over the time we have evolved and over time we have uh, gradually progressed ourselves and Twitter has been the mainstream where we have got a uh, good amount of audience, uh, you know, asking us information and now we are also crowdsourcing information from them. Uh, so it all started, you know, you know, past couple of years back when we started posting about major updates from on major roads that impact uh, traffic flows, incidences, traffic arrangements during VIP movements. Right. So all things we started doing proactively and all of a sudden we saw a good number of users started taking interest. And uh, people around the, you know, from the road started taking pictures and posting it on our handle. They're sharing it with us. And, uh, you know, very proactive users, uh, they, they, they're asking us traffic incidents, traffic status before they started leaving. This is what the culture we want to bring in the city. Um, that just look up traffic information before you leave and then you will be safe. You will have a very reliable journey. Right. A, a traffic free journey. Right, okay. I'm going to come to you in a moment, Rakshit. Uh, uh, Dr. Rupadhya, uh, thank you very much for joining us. So, a quick question. Uh, describe to us the nature of your challenge uh, uh, today, particularly at a time like this when you have incessant rains and uh, peak traffic conditions combined with maybe other problems like flooding and breakdowns. Uh, see, uh, during monsoon, the management of traffic becomes very difficult. The main problem is water longing on so many roads. Especially in western suburb, all these surveys are submerged with water and it becomes very difficult for vehicles to fly. Again, lots of potholes have come on the roads and they are making the movement of the vehicle very slow. And as you know that even if a vehicle is uh, delayed for 10 seconds, it has piling effect upon other vehicle and the delay is multiplied into hours and so many minutes as far as other vehicles are concerned. 
our policemen uh, are uh, doing a very uh, big job we have deployed additional manpower on all these things but since as you mentioned the number of the vehicle volume of the vehicle in mumbai is very high people are traveling uh, during peak hour uh, and the number of the vehicle is sometimes becomes unmanageable because of all these things therefore uh, we request people to check up the road condition before they start uh, we have started one alert system sms alert system for uh, people we are uh, interacting with people with the help of this alert system we have got our own website we are putting messages on them traf line is a great help to us and at the same time we have got uh, more than 50 vms boats on the roads we are playing messages uh, there also we are using fm radio also uh, therefore uh, this time uh, during monsoon uh, it is a big challenge for us and every time we request right. the bmc to repair the port hall or uh, drain out the water from the road so that the vehicular movement will be better fortunately we have got very uh, some of the very good roads in mumbai eastern freeway uh, santakuru chembur link road kherwadi therefore we request people to use these uh, alternative roads when main uh, arteries are uh, blocked due to uh, either uh, water logging or pothole and uh, for two three days it was very bad because uh, the volume of vehicle was very big and there was heavy rain and lots of water logging it still we tried our best to manage the traffic people were very cooperative with us very interactive with them and we hope their situation will improve uh, with the help of bmc and the commuters on the road right so uh, uh, i'm i'm still uh, have to come to rakshit but uh, one more question miss uh, uh, dr upadhyay uh, and this is coming from uh, shishir prasad he asks can mumbai's traffic systems use a real time analysis of twitter to manage traffic better or any such input like this which is really on social media to actually dynamically manage traffic uh, better actually we are receiving lots of inputs from people through email and uh, draft line and twitter uh, through so many agencies Yes. and accordingly we are doing that but one main problem which i want to point out that on every road the volume of traffic is more than the road capacity even during peak hour in this case if the volume of traffic is more than the uh, road capacity then it is uh, going to uh, create uh, congestion and jam therefore the basic problem of our roads in mumbai is that we are pumping more vehicles on the road without putting any restriction on that that is a very basic problem and in our meeting we are raising this point every day about 450 new vehicles are being added to mumbai in addition to the vehicles which are coming from thane now mumbai and other places we have no restriction on any vehicle earlier one flat was having one vehicle now they have four five vehicles or these vehicles are uh, parked on the road therefore this basic problems also need to be addressed right. and if the volume of the traffic is more than the road capacity it is going to create traffic jam our main are is struggling from morning to evening to manage the traffic and because of this basic problem sometimes it become very difficult so uh, good good uh, quick counter question or a continuing question to that are you contemplating a revised system where at a certain point in time in the day only certain number of cars will be allowed like it happens in singapore or if you have to get in on an emergency then you pay more money or more money to get in congestion to ease Actually, the congestion okay actually there is a high court committee in the mansara headed by the ca we have put this proposal there that we should put congestion charges we should restrict the number of the vehicle actually it is a policy decision taken uh, to be taken by the government and that is pending with the government at the same time i just want to uh, mention one thing that the volume of the vehicle which mumbai has can't be handled manually in western countries where they have been able to manage traffic very well they have put cameras on all the important junctions and the presence of traffic police is very less human intervention is very less therefore we have requested the government that all important junctions of mumbai city should be covered by cameras they will keep eyes on the traffic violation also and it will be easy to book the violator because if human intervention is less then there is a very less uh, scope of doubt for uh, hot spots right therefore that proposal is also pending with the government and if all these things come up then i think it will be better for us to manage the traffic today our men are doing their best to manage the traffic but with all these constraints and distance okay good so uh, i'm going to come back to you in a second uh, uh, joint commissioner uh, rakshit sheth uh, tell us about smart mumbai car i mean what made you set this up and how have you been uh, doing your bit to help make life uh, more easy for some of us or most of us 
फॉलोवर okay smart mumbai car is basically uh, just trying to solve number of uh, vehicles on road let's say right now uh, uh, what is happening that everyone will take one auto one taxi and they go and they they all will go uh, in the in the jam you know so what we are just trying to do is that we are just trying to have minimum empty seat on your vehicle whether it's auto taxi car or bike that is just on the real time right okay uh, ravi let me co- uh, come back to you uh, you know what is the kind of challenges that you face i mean you know one of the questions coming in for instance is what's the authenticity uh, of the data that you're getting or the posts that you're getting number one number two what about timing you know someone may say that tulsi pipe road is jammed but by the time it can kind of circulates through social media and surfaces again uh, you know the situation may have changed are, are these some of the key challenges that you face in ensuring authenticity well uh you know to be honest yes uh, these are challenges but not very uh, significant uh, you know when a traffic jam does start you know it does start backing up and uh, you know if uh, you know these the what what we call these as a boundary conditions when you start from home there is no traffic and suddenly when you when you start uh, when you come on the highway you see traffic jam uh, so these are tra- these are boundary conditions and these are bound to happen during peak hours or during uh, you know untoward incidences like vehicle stalls or accidents Uh, so for this purpose we have something called as push notifications where uh, whenever uh, you you subscribe for the service or you download our app and immediately when you start your journey you know you will be informed whenever such 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 untoward incidences or there are traffic jams ahead of you uh, you know you will be alarmed about those incidences so yes uh, and the authenticity wise yes uh, that was a major uh, you know hurdle to cross in the earlier stages but right now i think uh, you know our, we have a uh, good amount of users are, and good and mumbai traffic police is also helping us validate the service uh, so i'm uh, you know we are pretty conf- uh, you know the accuracy bit is was challenged earlier uh, you know we did uh, face those you know ourselves and we did make configuration changes in our system time and again and right now you know our users vouch for it time and again so we i, I don't think the authenticity or the accuracy is any more a problem in our system So Ravi very quickly how do you collaborate with the Mumbai traffic police how, how do you all reach a handshake or an interface So it started during the Ganesh festival in 2012 uh with the formal joint commissioner and uh, right now how we are working is uh you know uh, uh if there are any events or any uh, you know big alerts or major stretches of road that get uh, congested uh, we give them a holistic view of uh, you know what uh, what uh, what we see on our uh, digital maps and we we provide them those information at the same time due to the crowd sourcing uh, you know uh, the ability of crowd sourcing through these social media handles that we have on twitter to tell them of from the field you know some users post there are many users that post us with with photos uh, and incidences what have occurred and we just inform them back and this happens around the clock also you know during late night hours Right. So, uh, Ravi, can you t- give us a sense of what kind of traffic you're seeing uh, on your own side as well as uh, the crowdsource part, particularly in the last few days, where obviously, as I can also see, the concerns have been the highest. Uh, so, yeah, that's what. So, like uh, for late late night hours, uh, day before yesterday, there was a there was a jam piling up on JVLR Highway, uh, going to going from Seeps towards Western Express Highway, and we informed. Uh, uh the the traffic authorities about that and they were able to deploy its resources and they were clear clear them right right away uh you know other other sources like water logging or uh, uh you know uh, uh you know vehicle getting stalled or any untoward incidences on the on the roads uh whichever we get from the crowd we we, we post it back to the uh, to the traffic control room and also we do get information from the traffic control room as well uh some some kind of information that we have to relate back to the users uh for example during uh, the time when uh, the rallies during the election uh we we particularly requested uh, 
from the uh, the traffic authorities that uh, you provide us the information which we could relate back to our users too. Right. Okay, so I'm going to now talk about how this traffic, can all. Uh, uh, you know, it, uh, Ravi, uh, or any tools. Yeah, uh, Ravi and Rakshit, uh, it, I I know this is working, right? And I think what we want to understand here today is how can this become better and something more mainstream. Uh, and before that, uh, a couple of comments uh, from. Uh, Twitter and someone says, I know people will have suggestions. Sumit says, I know people will have suggestions, but why not first thank traffic police? So obviously acknowledging the role of the traffic police there. So uh, let me come back to uh, uh, Dr. Rupadhyay. So the question we're asking is, you know, how do we make this more better uh, in terms of more real time, more authentic and something that's uh, integrated into our lives and the way we plan our day? Actually, we're trying our best. And we are roping all the agencies which are responsible for this. Especially BMC has to play a very uh, big and important role in this because they provide all the infrastructure. Now MMRDA, MSRDC, they all have come to play a big role in this, all these things. I just want to give one example uh, of Dindoshi flyover. There were lots of potholes on Dindoshi flyover. And because of that, the the vehicle was badly affected and uh, there were there were big and uh, backlogs and uh, long queues of the vehicle. Then uh, what happened, we have to start one lane of uh, north bound for south bound and again for south bound or north bound during the evening. Therefore, we are uh, doing all these alternate things in order to improve the traffic situation which has been caused because of rain. But just I want to see that as long as we don't address the basic problem of traffic, as I have discussed earlier, in near future, it will be very difficult for us to manage the traffic. At present, we are very a start of manpower. We have got only 3,500 manpower. And for a city like Mumbai, we need at least 5,000 uh, police personnel, traffic police personnel to manage the traffic. In this case, we are taking the help of uh, traffic wardens also. They are helping us on so many occasions. Uh, often we are appealing to people through social media or different uh, platforms that this should also help uh, us because in Mumbai everybody is in a hurry. Nobody wants to wait and watch. And that is also putting lots of problems to us. Uh, we are receiving lots of complaints from pedestrians because most of the vehicles park their vehicle on the pedestrian crossing at the uh, uh, junction. And our traffic men, when they tell them that please uh, take your vehicle back, they can't take the vehicle back because there are lots of vehicles have already been parked behind them. Therefore, I think I request uh, the public and commuters in the Mumbai city to be a little bit patient because everybody is in great haste and hurry, hurry to reach the office and house. Therefore, uh, thus the overall situation of the traffic will improve only with the help of uh, technology, better uh, traffic management, improvement in manpower, cooperation by people, better civic sense. And one thing I want to mention that the driving licenses which are given in our society and in our country, they are not tested properly. The knowledge and skill of driver is very poor. Therefore, when he comes on the road, he does not know the traffic rule. He does not have that sense of traffic discipline. Right. And that also adds to the oath of traffic. Right. I think so. Therefore, Some good we points there, uh, uh, Dr. Pati. So I think what you're saying is that we have to fundamentally address the problem of supply, which means that the number of vehicles have to be brought down or managed. Second is that uh, obviously you are also uh, held hostage or, uh, or determined by uh, let us say uh, the BMC's ability to manage roads and so on and that is for instance a comment that is coming from uh, uh, which says that why are we not able to address potholes or bad strategies of loose paver blocks on roads that create crawling traffic. Uh, even the design of road projects like the international airport road there is a jam daily. Uh, I think this is Shishir Prasad who says that. So there seems to be, an, obviously there is an acknowledgement and understanding that this is not a traffic police problem, but it's really a fundamental infrastructure problem. Uh, the, uh, the third is that you're, uh, I mean, uh, that can more people participate and be responsive to information that they receive every day and therefore, uh, you know, plan their day much better. Uh, yeah. No, my question is, Dr. Padia, that are you planning out some kind of a superstructure in, in, in cyberspace where the Mumbai traffic police is at the hub? And then you've got different sources providing you the inputs because you need to know where well, you know what, what the information you're getting is genuine or not. Otherwise, it could lead to a lot of chaos. Actually, uh, we are uh, addressing these basic problems in a different way. Hmm. See, what is happening? It is a public perception that all the problems of traffic are because of traffic police. But <laughs> I just want to say 
that if you go to any western countries where traffic is very good you will see very less presence of traffic policemen on the road because they have put the machines and technology in such a way that they are controlling the traffic and if somebody violates it then that man is caught and is brought to go here what is happening we are putting more and more men on the road in order to control the traffic which is very high therefore for a small city human intervention is very good but for a city like mumbai where traffic volume is very heavy and it is unmanageable we we need to shift to cameras and other high technology which other countries are using in order to control it secondly we need to put some restriction on the registration of the vehicle also which are coming in the market every day we need to improve the public transport system because our public transport system is not very good therefore people don't want to travel in there therefore all these things because if all these things are taken care of only then we may be able to manage the traffic in better way because traffic police has got a role which is limited in its scope therefore if it is supported by a super structure if it is supported by technology if it is supported by good policy uh, on the part of the uh, administration right. then it will go a long way in improving the situation right okay uh, so uh, rakshit let me come back to you what's next what are you planning uh, and uh, planning to do in from your as an app and in your effort to crowdsource data on traffic uh, to make life better Uh, yes sir sure. so basically uh, right now uh, what we are doing is that we are kind of helping just mumbai people to uh, to just give uh, authentic data about their traffic and more to that we are just uh, not only just information just provider but we are also just trying to uh, reduce uh, you can say just number of uh, vehicles on the road and there are few more uh, just uh, basically just comments from just our just follower that why mumbai uh, mumbai traffic police are not banning heavy vehicles during just office hours right okay so that's a question for uh, you joint commission we'll come back to that uh, 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 ravi what's next i mean how how does this go to the next level in terms of uh, you know integration with uh people's uh you know daily sort of information flow uh with with the system of with the traffic police runs and you know so that everyone's on the same page when it comes to generation and consumption of data right uh, so uh, yes we are moving forward in technology uh and thanks for asking this question actually so uh, just giving out information doesn't solve the pain point uh, so we are trying you know uh, you know uh, you know our level best to integrate with sources uh, at the root grassroots level uh, to give them information for example performance studies of you know when they come up with a flyover how was the traffic flow uh, earlier and how was the traffic flow now how is how the traffic flow improved based on this we can do some predictive analysis we also coming up with future traffic predictions or forecast uh, the algorithms for that and processes that can help people to plan their uh, plan their uh, traffic uh, that travel plans better uh so and then carrying it to multiple cities and just not with mumbai right. so okay. yeah going forward and also we are trying to automate this whole twitter uh, system where uh, you know we are getting feeds from users we are we are getting inquiries from users so that we can answer them back in a very quick and efficient manner rather than deploying our manual sources uh, you know to answer each and every inquiry right so okay so good so if you are following uh, trafline mumbai uh, then be assured that uh, there's someone working there to ensure that you will get responses quickly uh, uh, dr upadhyay let me come back to a quick question uh, you know one of the issues seems to be uh, of, of course as we agreed the quality of roads and also tra- uh, and also uh, people's using of it so the questions that are being asked is when there are private buses parked at so many places uh, and there are obvious reasons for traffic jams then why not uh, move them secondly uh, as uh, rakshit said you know uh, heavy vehicles uh, also seem to be moving in the city at times that they shouldn't so why how about all these smaller steps to ensure that we have uh, more manageable traffic on the roads see just in this context i just want to mention one thing actually we have very limited parking a space in our uh, city as i said that every day more than 450 vehicles are coming to mumbai they are they are being registered they are flying on the road but we are not creating a single inch of parking space and facility for them we have permitted all these buses to come on the road but we have not made parking facilities for them therefore what is happening if we don't create parking facilities for them 
then this, these vehicles and these buses are going to park on the road. What we do that we try to ensure that these vehicles should not obstruct the traffic through another thing. But at least somewhere they have to be parked. We are pursuing this matter with the BMC that they should create parking facilities for all heavy vehicles and other vehicles so that these vehicles will be moved from the road and they will park there. Therefore, we are taking only one aspect in, into consideration that why these vehicles are not, uh, 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 they are, why they are parked on the road, but at the same time we should think in the parking facilities also. See, uh, we have got 22 lakhs vehicle in Mumbai city, but we have got parking facilities only for 3.2 vehicles. Therefore, this is a very big problem which uh, we need to address. And secondly, we have imposed ban on heavy vehicle entry in so many parts of the Mumbai city. And if some vehicles uh, fly in those, in those areas during that time, we take very strict action against them. Even if, if some uh, violations are taking place, if it is brought to our notice, then we will uh, we are ready to take corrective actions and we will do the needful okay great so you will take corrective action particularly on the subject of uh, buses and large vehicles either uh, parked uh, on roads and obstructing them or uh, traveling uh, or moving through the city at times that they shouldn't so uh, we're running to the end of the show uh, here's a message for you uh, uh, mr uh, uh, dr upadhyay it says that please tell the joint commissioner his people do a good job in spite of the pathetic infrastructure i really feel bad for the cops and today there was this pic I saw on Twitter where a traffic cop was putting stones on messed up paver blocked roads. So that's oh, thank uh, you, thank you. Okay, thank you. so that thank was an observation. Uh, 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 Ravi and Rakshit, uh, can I get a last word from you? Uh, one, the, the one moment that you felt all that you were doing was really worthwhile because of someone's reaction or something. Ravi, can you go first? Handle uh, is always encouraging. I would say it's every day it gives goosebumps. Uh, the appreciation is definitely there and the cooperation from the people is also there. It's amazing to see so much contribution from users coming uh, given the limited, again, given the limited infrastructure. Uh, yes, people do complain, but I, I believe the people in Mumbai are definitely cooperative and uh, definitely they, uh, they, they appreciate the services of each and every one. Right. Uh, uh, Rakshit, anything that, any one moment that you want to talk about that made you feel that all this time that you were spending on this new enterprise was worth it? Mumbai Janta rocks, literally rocks. <laughs> okay. Right, thank you so much, uh, gentlemen. Ayaz, uh, last word, are you obviously going to be following all these handles? Well, I'm already feeling relieved. Yeah. But the only thing which I thought uh, maybe the answers come through, yeah. if, if you read between the lines, is that are these guys going to look for accreditation from the Mumbai police hmm. so that they are recognized for yeah, the kind yeah. of work One they of them doing. is already working. And yeah. hmm. the, the obviously then uh, is the Mumbai police, you know, after getting these guys accredited, are not going to become lax and say, no, this, it's somebody else's job, we shouldn't do it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But the power of social media does work uh, and it's delivering. As you can see in the city of Mumbai, the question, of course, we were asking is, how can we take, take it to the next level? And I think we've got some great ideas there. Thank you all for joining us on the India Hangout. We'll be back very soon.